Why is that? Why is that a good move? Yeah. Because he's a terrific yeah. owner. He's a fantastic owner. He's compassionate. He's competitive. He spends money to win championships. He's won championships. He'll do anything it takes to win and turn the Pistons around. That's why it would be a good move. And he's an owner that you know is not going to move the team. Exactly. It's going to be right here in Detroit. It's not going anywhere. And they shouldn't really go anywhere. This is obviously early stages in all of this. We're just coming very, out of this very today. early. Will it happen though? I mean, Alex says he I wants think it, it has. It I think it has a very good chance. This is the first time we've heard about someone who actually is interested and willing to spend the money. Mary made a good point, $470 million in Forbes' yeah. latest. Yeah. A lot less than that you would think they would go for, considering the fact the Pistons are not in the kind of shape they were when they were winning mm -hmm. championships. Now, Karen Davidson had made the, the comment that she will separate. She'll sell just the team or she'll sell the whole package, which would be, you know, the Palace, the DTE, right. and Meadowbrook, and the whole deal. He would take the whole package, I would you think. You would think so. I mean, I'm not in his mind. And originally they said that's the only way they were going to sell the team with everything included. But they kind of backed off of that recently and said, okay, we'll parcel it out if we have to. If I'm Mike Illich and I see I can have the whole thing and control all those venues, I would take it. No doubt about it. You know, it. I've also heard it's amazing you walk in the building today and everyone's got their opinions about what would happen. Right. If it did happen, likely that after that lease was up for the Joe Louis Arena, that maybe the Wings could play at the Palace while a new stadium's being built? They could. If he owned if, this. Look, they've had hockey in there before, yeah. so that would work. Yes, it would work. Um, they would do that probably if it took longer to build a multi-purpose arena. Yeah. And it's not unusual to see hockey and basketball mm -hmm. in, the same, in the same city playing in the same arena. That happens. So all of that could work. Where they put it, up to speculation, but that could definitely work. And then there's only the Lions left. Yeah. <laughs> and that's I don't what, think they're and, selling and, them. And that's what the sports fan in Detroit <laughs> is saying today. Great, he's going to get the wings and he's going to get the Pistons. Can he please buy the Lions too? <laughs> I think the comment we're hearing, I know it's early, but it's like a sigh of relief. Oh, somebody's yeah. stepping forward who's a qualified buyer to buy the Pistons. Yeah. That would keep it in town. Yeah, exactly. That's so huge for us okay. not to lose that team. Yeah. All right, Thank we'll you, talk Dad. to you later.